Hey everybody, I'm Ray. And I'm Edo. And I, we gotta get that secret, but I'm underwater, so I'm gonna go get that secret. Now, it's been a while, so I forget where the secret is. Uh, it was over here, right? I don't think so. At least, like, I don't think the secret is to where you would need to fight, like, a mid-boss in order to, uh, pull it off. Yeah, that's right. There was that annoying mid-boss. I sort of figured how to fight without being able to fight him. Aw, oh, jeez. Yeah, there we go. Huh, you can't swim faster? That's about as fast as I can swim. Hmm. Oh, I finally got that one up. Uh, oh, alright, I was... I thought pressing A didn't do it. I feel like this is still slightly too loud. Oh, okay, I'll adjust that. Oh, come on! <laughs> so where did we get the hammer from? <laughs> because I don't know. <laughs> Wasn't there a bonkers we could fight? Me not remembering enough stuff just got me just got me screwed right there. Oh good. It's a bonkers. Alright. Oh, come on. Damn it, I was pressing B. I guess there's some control delay. Uh, come on! There we go. <laughs> Ow. Perfect. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> well, it worked out in the end. You ever seen a game that has like a health bonus for end of level, but they don't count as a problem if you like healed at some point? Like, that's, that's not right. You know how some games have like the- oh wait, that's the wrong door, never mind. Uh, you know how some games have a damage bonus to where it's like if you manage to take like so little damage or whatever? Mm -hmm. You ever seen a game to where that was applied- I'm not sure if it'd be incorrectly at this point, if with the question I'm going with, but... You ever seen one that was applied to where it didn't care if you took damage at all as long as you finished the stage with whatever health amount you had? Like, you ever seen one that applied it like that for the like ranking? Because I feel like I've seen one that did that before, but I'm not sure, actually, the more I think about it. I don't think so, but I think that's just because I'm used to a game just, like, not having you take damage uh, after you complete the stage. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, didn't I already pick up that one up? Why did it regen so fast? Now I have six lives instead of five. Get up there! <laughs> Jeez. And you're like, what, what were you, what'd you mean? I don't think I quite understood. Like, I was answering your question the best way I understood. Like, uh, did the game ever take into account any damage you took after you completed the stage? Isn't that what you said? Yes. So, so like, I've never seen a game like that because, you know, games I play have always just made you invincible. Like, after you completed the stage. I don't think I asked the question correctly because I'm not understanding what you're saying. Um... Let me try that again as I get this blue sw I'm a blogger! Okay, I made sure not to accidentally hold up in front of the door. That would have sucked. Okay, so... You can you just know exit now. Oh yeah, thank you. I actually forgot about that. Uh... Oh, it's just an ability room. I was about to say, do you want to do this challenge? Oh, it's wheel. Ah, uh, it would have been hilarious if it was a hammer. Yeah, that would have been some sweet, sweet irony. Or would it be sweet victory, because then we'd have hammer for the rest of the game. Oh yeah! Wait, why'd I just do a Waluigi? Or that would not Who did that more in Mario? Pretty sure that was Luigi. Okay. Did you want to go to stage? Yep. Okay. I forgot whose turn it was anyway, so... Now I can delete that note on my computer, but I won't, because that might screw up the recording. Don't- don't die! Oh god, okay, thank god, I thought that was a fit. I mean, it probably is if you don't swim. Yep. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Make sure not to forget how to swim. <laughs> you can just fly over everybody. Well, that's good, too. Hey, how's he just, just standing up there? That's not fun. Oh, Well, we got the hammer. And don't don't eat. Nice cat! <laughs> nice! Say, wait. Door up there. There's ah. possibly a door. Yeah! Oh, shit! No! <laughs> well, it's a free one up. <laughs> I'm surprised I caught that little door. I almost didn't. It looked too normal. No! You remember the turn of the Dumbos? I don't know why I'm calling him that. They look more fierce in here. In the first game, because of the lack of sprite level amount, something, whatever, they looked more goofy. If you if you know what I mean, like they just didn't look right. All right, this is an ability. I, I, oh no! All oh, good. I thought you were about to die from that. 
Right, my question from earlier that I didn't know how to exactly answer. I mean, ask. Okay, so you know how in, like, Devil May Cry and other similar games with the ranking system, they have stuff like style, health, blarg. Mm -hmm. And even if you, like, refilled your health to max, it's... What the fuck happened? I looked away for a second. <laughs> did, did the mushroom burn you? No, uh, bomb dropped. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, for... I did think crash, uh, respawned. Be careful going up, there's an enemy all gonna be barely off screen over here. A bit. But it basically in those kinds of games, like even Bayonetta would be like, Oh, you took like 10,000 points of damage, you get an F ranking because that was a failure type of thing. Even if you like refilled your health. I was saying, have you ever seen a game that with a ranking system like that for health, it didn't care if what damage you took, it cared what you ended the level with. You, does that make more sense? Ah, yes. Okay. <laughs> now, the question I don't know was, did you answer yes, you've seen a game like that, or yes, you understand? I understand, and I have seen games like that. Alrighty. I think you're gonna need a hammer for this, unfortunately. <laughs> you wanna exit stage and go get the hammer? Nah, oh, I'll okay. just uh, complete the stage for now. What game have you seen that did that? Because I feel like I saw one like that before, but I can't remember if I actually... If I'm just thinking I did. I can't remember offhand. That's fine. I forget games all the time. I'm like, I know there was one with something. Like, one example was, I remember one time that I played a game... Oh, jeez, I didn't realize he was going toward you. <laughs> I remember one time I played a game that I thought back about, and I was like, wait... What game had you in an abyss in front of this giant, like, um, omni not omnipresent, ominous door that you had to do something to get it to open? And it's like, literally, like, you're just suddenly in a void for no reason at all. It's like, I was in a volcano, and I went and completed the level, now I'm in a void with a door in front- What the fuck Kingdom Hearts shit is this? <laughs> like, it was something out of nowhere like that. And I was thinking... Why don't I remember what game that is? And you know what game ended up being? Hmm. Ninja Gaiden 2. Like, uh -huh. the, like the sequel to the Ninja Gaiden Xbox game. So imagine my surprise when I'm playing Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and I'm going through that game, and I was like, THIS IS THE FUCKING GAME! <laughs> like, I get to that fucking room, and it's like, <laughs> I thought I knew I played a game that had something weird. <laughs> oh, how'd you avoid that damage? Flying. That doesn't make sense, it's a full screen attack. That's like... Doing a parry to that one move in the Multiplayer game. What was it? Oh, set Dust of Osiris. Remember that boss? Uh -huh. Like it has a full screen attack. Like the only way to avoid that is just that you have to. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. The only way to avoid that normally is that you have to do a well timed parry. You know, because everybody had a parry button or whatever. Mm. And I thought that's kind of neat, but damn, that's hard to dodge. Unless you're playing as Neko or Chaos, then it's completely perfectly easy because you just gotta dig. He's got an evasion move that makes him invincible during it, so it's like the easiest way to beat that one boss challenge in the game. That's stupid hard. What are you doing? Getting that hammer. Well, why can't I get it? Because you got the last one. Oh, and then you also need to get the secret. Alright, you gotta run... Oh, okay. Oh, wow, he's doing the DDD thing. And he's doing that thing that makes me hate him. <laughs> Maybe going for coconuts would be the easiest way. Because then you wouldn't have to take the damage from- there we go. That's a better one. Nice catch. It's very nice of them to give us a full heal every time. <laughs> oh boy, I'll be glad when we get done with this Kirby game and get to do the the, the last one. I mean, the next one. <laughs> oh no, I said the last one. <laughs> Oh, the next stage is in front of a little pirate ship, I think, maybe. I don't know why it has to be pirates, it could be something else. Careful that weird frog. Okay, never mind, you're good. I like that the sprite for his hammer can't be on screen if he's at the top for some reason, so... He's just got this one little hand keeping him afloat in the air, it looks so funny. Where was the S-Door? I kinda was half paying attention for this entire stage, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> wasn't it wasn't in that there. one, it was somewhere later. What's that weird effect I'm seeing on the screen? I feel like I saw that in the other Kirby. I I don't know how to describe it. Hmm. I don't know how to describe it. Was the ice room before this room? Oh shoot! Uh oh. Okay. You got it. You got it. You just gotta jump up there and get it. Or or not. <laughs> yeah. Or not. Well, that was my failure. Your turn. <laughs> Alrighty. Damn it! I freaking forgot. Don't do analog stick. It throws everything off. Okay. 
Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get there. Well, I'll be back at the stage. You know, I haven't seen I haven't seen a pressure sensitive button game in a while. Like the only game I can remember that did that effectively was like Metal Gear Solid 2. Because like you could hold up somebody, then you had to ease off the button, which was exceedingly hard to do. So you didn't let go of the trigger. <laughs> I did that so often. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna hold this guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Keep forgetting I don't need to jump there. Hmm. That was like the last time I ever saw something like that too, when it came to actual the pressure controls of the button. I feel like a lot of games that had driving could do that, but I never played any of them, mm -hmm. <laughs> so... Oh jeez. Well, he's off screen, so I'm safe. Now let's try it again. No! Jump, damn it! Oh my god. Ah, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> The slowdown is not helping me here. Good. Good. Okay. I'm finally safe. Jeez. Almost. Yeah. Just need to make it uh, to that center room over there. Ah, okay. No crash? Okay. Okay. Am I? Okay, good. Okay. Yay. Okay, I'm back at the secret room. Okay. Wait. Enemies. Okay, <laughs> we're good. I'm actually getting tired of these secret buttons. They were cool when they weren't every single stage. <laughs> They're fine when they don't require a hammer. Yeah, because that's slightly annoying to go get. Hopefully this secret room is... A oh, come on! That's not even fair. I didn't realize I was going to spawn under the enemy. Man, why is there an igloo in the sky? Well, can't you just exit now? I could, if I would remember to not fucking forget to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see what the battle room is, if you don't mind. Okay. I'm gonna battle hammer it. It's this fucker with the fire ability! I thought he gave you ice. Ow! <laughs> Did you just gnaw on my face? I think Kirby just got mauled by a blue lion. Hey! Get back. No, stop it. He used to be a purple lion. There. Yay! Hmm. Alright, now I could do this level that looks like a pirate ship. Oh, that's pretty. Hey, wait, what the heck? Oh, okay, there's gonna be a secret down here, probably. Otherwise, why is the floor suddenly flowers instead of blue? <laughs> this sepia tone line is still throwing me off because it looks so weird and colorful. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is even worse. Wait, why are we in why are we in the first stage from the first Wario Land game? No, this seriously looks suspiciously like that, actually. It's weird. <laughs> Oh wait, I can go- oh, no I can't. I thought I could go under, but- what? how did I get hurt from that? Yeah. And I'm just uh, just thinking, you know, going, Hey, you're imagining things! Next stage, we're like in Green Hill Zone. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if his animations are like this in Smash for Kirby. Like on the ladder and stuff. Hmm. It looked like there could have been something down here, because I didn't realize that this was like all the way. Doesn't look like. Oh wait, I forgot about the important thing. If you're an air balloon, you don't need to worry about flying. Ah. This looks super suspicious over here, but I guess there's nothing. Hmm. I can. Okay, no doors. I thought they'd be hidden in the darkness where they like to hide them. So what's over here then? Any more secrets? Now I'm just doing Super Mario World type of thing where it's like I could play the level or I could fly over it, <laughs> and therefore see basically nothing. I actually did that one time when I played that the Game Boy Advance version. I was like, huh, why am I even bothering playing the game? <laughs> I super caved over like the whole game and got to Bowser. And I was like, hey, sorry, there's something in my foot that's sticking me and it hurts. Damn it! Okay. I don't know if it actually was something or if it was my imagination. Alright, this fireball. I got it back, yeah. hooray. Yeah, that just reminds me of that one dorkly joke. Which was? Oh yeah, the where... thing where he just skips with the whistles. Yeah. Bonkers! Well, I guess we're gonna need him. Because, I mean, like, why else is he here? It's gonna make us be forced to have to use him for some reason. Uh-oh. Not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Buttons! Why do you fail me? Okay, I was wondering, why didn't you just turn around and uh, use it since you were going to toss it? I wasn't going to toss it, I meant to Are you actually- going to go down? I meant to- what? How do I go- oh. Oh. No, I can't. Oh. Hmm. Odd. Yeah, I thought- I thought so once you pointed it out just then, but no. No! Oh! 
I guess this might have been a secret itself, because we, if we didn't have the hammer... Wait, was that just a star block and I'm imagining things? Hmm. Well, I certainly can get over here, I guess. Well, okay. Then wait, guess... which one of these doors do... Oh, wait, it came from the top one, duh. Not the top one, the middle one. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that just leaves the uh, lower right. That I looks wonder. like a thing. Yeah. I don't know, I thought I was going to go to the next screen. <laughs> it's funny that people can do this in Smash Brothers. Mm -hmm. hmm. Good. Now, what do you do that I'm going to have to run from? Oh! Oh, come on. What did I miss? It blew up on the floor. I, I don't know what that was supposed to do. Would that have made it difficult to find the Sir Kibble in there? I don't know what that was supposed to do. I'm very confused. Same. Well, I'm not sure what it was supposed to do, but I'm not necessarily confused. I have an idea of what it just did, but we'll find out once you beat the stage. Maybe it flooded the entire bottom of this stage. Because it, it probably isn't just the one spot. Oh, these sail flags look kind of weird. They're just so plain, but what else could they be, right? I guess they could have stars on them like they did in the stage opener? Opening? Whatever. Huh? Well, I know I need to go into the next room. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> come on. Uh, come on, I'm pressing... Uh, <laughs> I can't get... Oh, uh, what is this malarkey? Thanks. This is very strange. Well, that's not it. I'm starting to think it's something just put there to mess with you. Dang it, I was gonna jump, but I didn't. I jumped too slow. <laughs> One more time. Whoops. I almost keep walking into him for some reason. Alright, that didn't work. Alright, now that I've ruined everything <laughs> for myself, why is there a door and a sail flag? How dare you? Ah! That was close. Well. Not sure which way I should try to go, so I'm gonna explore over here a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> what? I don't know why, but I just imagine like now nah, we're uh, Nintendo's new retro remixes, like, and it has like uh, this particular stage from Kirby, and it all plays the same, except like in the background you see like a sprited version of the King of Red Lions and Link <laughs> just like sailing in the background. <laughs> Playing that awesome theme. What happened? I looked. I looked away because I thought I'd be fine. Where are you swimming? Yeah, I was not supposed to be swimming though. I was supposed to be freaking. What the hell? So what happened since I looked away? Oh. Because um, I, th I thought I still had air inside me. Oh, okay. You got hit by an enemy. Oh, it just spawned another fish guy. Because there wasn't any fish guys when I looked away. Damn it. I'm not even sure what I'm trying to go up here too. I'm not, even, I'm not even sure what secret I missed, either. Because there was that door I didn't take. Hmm. Whoa. Is that a giant frog? Oh, it's just a bunch of violence. So... Not that much going on for this stage other than just pretty colors and ideas. The hmm. ideas of a sunset. <laughs> The idea of a sunset. It's like, uh, as you go on even further throughout the stage, you see, like, off in the distance is a singular island, and, like, some big, dark, black creature rises from it with, like, an empty heart in its chest. <laughs> I got it. I, I think I figured out the proper timing on that now. If you... I was only able to see it in the video capture replay stuff, so I could try to figure out what did I not do, and it seems to be that you have to press it whenever the little platform flashes. Which is very hard to see, obviously, if you don't know that. Hmm. But yeah, it's like, that's when it's at the absolute most bottom, so you can get there. I'm gonna do a little speed run through this if I can. Get the- okay. Do the eat food! So I can be the powerful, yes. Alright, time to take that secret door that will require a hammer. I'm really assuming it's gonna- oh, come on. This is the worst day for Ray. <laughs> okay, good. I almost got hit by the thing. 
Ultimate strategy. Well, whatever, it works. I didn't mean to take a hit while he was dead, but I forgot they can hurt you when they're dead. Hmm. Should I still hit that other switch down there? Even though I don't know what it did? Sure, why not go there, hit it, and then actually, like, uh, run it this time? That'll be very hard to run it. Well, I don't think it instantly fills up with water, does it? It was very quick. Ah, okay, once more. Yeah, it just very instantly fills up with water. And I don't know what it's supposed to do other than put water down here. Hmm. I don't know if that does anything for the rest of the stage. I'm very glad you can do the air puff at all to do that, because otherwise I'd be defenseless. And that would suck! You could sound very scared. Hmm. Very scared of enemies! I swear I'm pushing the B button, it doesn't want to do the things. <laughs> ah. Wow, that's odd. Why did that come to mind? What is? I was watching a Best Friends podcast, and um, a question was uh, brought up. And that was, like, uh, who is the worst female protagonist you have ever had the displeasure of experiencing in a video game? <laughs> And, uh, anyone will, uh, okay, I'll just pose that question to you. Shit. What? Well, I don't think you can light a fuse underwater. Uh-huh. So how would I light this fuse underwater? Because I flooded the area, maybe. I'm going to experiment with this for a second, and not that. Here, let me try it with this one. I can't, I can't go down, actually, can I? Hmm, kind of not. Which, now I'm confused. This feels like the trick is that I need to get through this door down here because I can't fall through the platform. Huh. But there's not a door below me, so how death do? You sure about that? Uh, why don't you try going to the right? I swear there wasn't a door there last time unless it's secret. Hmm. But... There is an enemy down there for seemingly no reason, so... Hmm. Confusion. Very confusion. Damn it, I was trying to press B. Shoot some water. Hmm. One more time. After that, I'm, I'm lost. You, you can give it a try. <laughs> See if you can figure out what the secret is with your own two fingers as you push buttons. Mm. But anyways, uh, yeah, so uh, back to the question. You know, who's the worst female protagonist that like you have the displeasure of experiencing? Hmm, not too sure on that one. There's just such a wide uh, list to choose from of like, you know, my god, she's horrible. Or is it just you've never had uh, like... It's like, that. Nah, they've all been uh, pretty good to decent. Like, uh... Like, are we talking like they're just an awful person, or it's like they had, like, the worst character development? <laughs> like, like what well, exactly... Whatever you would consider the worst, like, you know, I would like uh, to hear a name, a game, and, like, why they were so bad. Hmm. That is gonna be a difficult... Ah, this is gonna be a difficult one to figure. Hmm. Because I had to really think, like, is there a game I played where I just, like, I hated that female protagonist? Hmm. Oh, boy. They will show her bad. Like, uh, there is one game that uh, comes to mind that is somewhat like that. It's just, it's a game I never quite finished. <laughs> so, I'm, uh, you, well, you know how I am. I don't like to speak too much on stuff I don't have, uh, like, uh, the full experience with. I just realized what I need to do here. At least, I'm going to attempt it. <laughs> I need to not have an ability and take Sir Kibble's boomerang. This will require range. Hmm. Alright, so how far does it go? Oh, I know how far it goes. You're gonna get it in screen, uh, throw it in the opposite side, and jump before it gets to you. Well, no, I mean, like, uh, throw it, jump, and start running. Okay, so that didn't seem to do anything. I thought that was gonna be the... Oh, I didn't make it, so... What am I missing? What, what the hell goes on here? Oh, well. uh, I would just uh, try to get back to that other thing that was all mysterious. Hmm? 
What the hell? Oh. I guess that wasn't anything. I'm just seeing things. What could the point of this be? There has to be a reason. It just seems too weird to me for it to not have a reason. <laughs> well, uh, maybe they're feeling a bit conquerish. Oh. Like, you I know what I mean by that? Yeah, the chocolate. The chocolate piece no one could ever get. Mm -hmm. I remember thinking, like, what level would be back there? There seems to be nothing. It's like there wasn't one. Oh, boy. I, I think we might have to look up a guide for this, because I'm not too sure. I'm going to try... Well, sure quick to go to that guide. Yeah, well, when I'm completely lost on ideas, the I mean, last... Didn't you say you were going to hand it to me to try, like, uh, once you were done? Maybe I did, but that was before I came up with the kibble idea. I was going to try to just run to that room, but without busting the water open. <laughs> to see if that changed anything. Would you let me friggin'... Oh, I didn't have a... I already had a power. Hmm. So anyways, you know, most horrible female protagonist! Still don't have an answer for you, because I have to really think on that one. Like, uh, I guess I'll just give my answer then. And, uh, that would probably be, uh... God yeah. dang it. <laughs> okay, uh, I want to make sure I get her name right. Because, you know, when you uh, proclaim someone as, like, worst female protagonist you've ever encountered, I feel like that's something of a high honor. <laughs> of something that others should strive not to be. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, it's a bit of a problem, uh... No, not problem. I'm not quite sure how to describe it, but it's actually like a bag of mixed feelings. Because I liked the character in the beginning. Until she got her memories back. <laughs> hmm, this, this room is already filled with water, so there goes my theory for that. Hmm. I'm at a loss. So, uh, I believe the character's name is Gerd. Uh, that sound familiar at all to you? Nope. Okay, do you remember the game Tells of Legendia? Yes. Do you happen to remember a certain character that was a uh, female protagonist? Uh, she was in the game. And uh, her thing was that uh, she lost her memory. But boy, was she one of the happiest, go luckiest persons you'd ever met. Ah, uh, yes. And then she got her memory back of being Captain Planet. <laughs> and then just became like uh, one of the uh, one of the worst, spiteful, hateful people you've ever met. And then she just died at some point. So it's like, okay, you took a character, changed their personality, and then killed them off. Like, uh, to me, that uh, seems like one of the worst female protagonists ever. But then again, from what I hear, like, uh, the Legendia had quite a number of unlikable female protagonists. Like, I remember, like, uh, this one character that wore, like, a blue jumpsuit and short black hair. Like, she stabbed the main protagonist, and they showed that <laughs> off in the intro. And I'm wondering, huh... Why'd she do that? She was mad. Yeah. <laughs> and I kind of remember that, like, uh, the main female love interest tried to destroy the world because her adoptive brother just would not stick it in her. No matter, like, <laughs> like that was the main plot line of it. Like, she had a twin sister who uh, her adoptive brother, like, was in love with but died. And because, like, she just looked so much like her sister, just, he could not, like... Uh, fall in love with her or something like that and because like he was like married to her or something it was like you know adoptive sister it was like god dang it you know save the world already Seno <laughs> alright you give it whatever one try you got man we'll figure it out by the next episode because I didn't realize we are out of time in my attempts but I'll let you give you your try because I said I would let you okay well there he goes <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I was at one health pip I'm sorry <laughs> Okay, go ahead and give you a try, and then we'll see everybody next time. Hmm. Why can't Kirby eat cans if he can eat everything? Actually, the same question goes to Gordo's, huh? Hmm. I suppose it does. Oh, darn it. You're okay. Just stick above the water and manage not to lose your breath. Well, okay then. But yeah, it's like, uh, that character I had some introduction with, 
I kind of like didn't play the game fully through, but I, I saw some clips and um, heard what happens in the future. And you know, I got to tell you, like that's a real like a uh, downer to want to continue to play that yeah. game to like you know just see that go down with a character that I like. <laughs> so, uh, like uh, that's the most prominent one that comes to me as far as like an unlikable female protagonist that I've I already tried. You cannot skip this room. You must defeat the mini boss. Fine. Do it. Fight for my entertainment. You're gonna die. Don't do that. And now he's just got to hammer at you one more time. Watch out. There you go. Okay. So that... Amber's not the thing you need in the stage as far as I know. It just feels really weird that they want you to break open this box with your hammer power and do a thing. Hmm. But what would happen if I don't do a thing? You mean like what I tried? I don't remember seeing that. Oh, well, that was... Ah, darn it! I tried not to go into the, uh... Uh, what was I saying? I tried not to break open the water thing, but I'm having another theory about that area, but I'm not sure how to figure that out, because I don't know how these games function. Oh! Well, there's how you get your secret one up. I, I When I tried the window itself on the inside, I wouldn't have thought the one from the outside would be it. Does that mean there's two one-ups in this area, actually? Or can you only jump through the one window? Yes, it does mean that! <laughs> Sometimes I think that the, w the way that doorways work in Kirby is that they lead to different fucking dimensions. <laughs> As otherwise, why are there two one-ups in the same two rooms? That means they're not switching places, we just went through the wrong dimensional doorway. But it feels like he's there just so we can get a fuse to light the thing, but there's water. And I feel like that would let us not put it on the fuse. But how do we even get the hell in there? It's all these problems. All these problems and more. At the shoe store. Oh, I thought it would have been the room store. Well, I say the wrong one all the time, so it, it didn't even surprise that I got it wrong, Ado. <laughs> hmm. Let me know when you've given up on your ideas and yeah. I can end the episode, because otherwise we're going to go on for far too long <laughs> with trying to find the answer. <coughs> or would it be the question? I did not click that phone, screw you! <laughs> no! <laughs> I just want to push one thing. I wonder if my phone is broken or if I broke it to where it's like, no, touchpad no good. You do terrible. It is awful. I guess in other random news, hey, anybody who cares out there, I have an N64 that's going to be getting modded hopefully soon, and maybe this year, with an HDMI mod. So expect awesome playthroughs of Ray's N64 game collection. Including four import games. Okay, maybe not, because two of them are story-heavy, and there's English versions out there of the cartridges. But that'll be fun, maybe. I hope. I gotta get controllers that work, actually, first. That's the first priority. Wouldn't you say? Eh, maybe. Hey, do you remember what stage number this is? Uh, nope. Damn. I see... Kirby's Adventure! Uh, Excuse me. Nope, doesn't tell me in the uh, pause menu. What, fire ability? Oh, it meant the level. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Oh, oh it won't even let me go back! Oh, you don't even have hammer no more. If it's a block. <laughs> Alright, so it's level 6, stage 3. Yes! Alright, well, I'll f look that up, and then we'll see next time. Damn it, what did you do? What did you do, game? Ah. Not, not game, what'd you do, phone? <laughs> I still haven't given up! You're gonna have to! Give up! Open, YouTube! Come on! Come on, do it! Do something funny! That is all you're good for, YouTube. That and information. <laughs> ah. I think at this point we're gonna have to see everybody next time. We'll get that secret. Ada will. Ada will. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see. Get it next time. Bye. <laughs> oh, jeez.